Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and talk and live and experience forever, for an hour. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. You know, whoa, it's loud. Everything is loud. How loud have we been in the past few days? I didn't have any headphones yesterday, and it might have been blown out. We might have been blown out. Hi, John Webster. Hi, yeah. Hi John. Hey, John. It's for you. Uh, I called him last night. He was uh, like, or like, ah, I want to watch on TV. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, John, you want to watch him, not talk, but sometimes he doesn't want to talk, so, John, I'm going to call you anyway. I think you're okay with being like not happy about the stuff sometimes or something, right? <laughs> uh, how are you, John? Good, me too. Uh, it's you know it's I don't feel as hot. I think I, I like the fan was not on like the full max setting. What? But it's still like weak. I think it it's be, definitely working better though. I can feel it too. Yeah. And it's closer now. Yeah. Might be time for a new fan. Uh, that sound like there's some sort of a resistance. Yeah. Maybe we could clean the gears. I think this is the fan that fell out the window and like barely lived like three or four years ago. Yeah, you've so, said that. Like, I guess another box fan is a good idea. I was surprised that it lived. I don't know how it fell out the window. Box fans cost what, 10 bucks? <laughs> yeah, 10 bucks a year. I probably got to go look at that. Uh, uh, the falling out the window yeah. episode. I spent like like probably, you know, like a lot of money on food, at the fair. I went to the fair and I was like, ooh, a hamburger. All right, but then I was like, oh, a box fan that I'm gonna use for years and years, every day, and it's gonna be like the 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 cornerstone of comfort. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I can buy that. I don't know if I can purchase that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, a hamburger. Same price. Yeah, I want the hamburger. That's how they get you. They did. They get you. You that can't one. eat a fan, and if you did, then you wouldn't be able to use it. Yeah. Yeah. If a fan cooled me down, I mean a hamburger, that'd be great. But it'd be weird. Would you buy it then? Would you even buy it? Because it'd be like, why is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, I just ate the hamburger, and now I'm cold for some reason. <laughs> or that, it's hot outside. That's what they advertise. They're like, they're like, this hamburger is gonna cool you down when you eat it. It's still gonna be good. It's gonna cool you down somehow, and it's like I don't know if I believe or I trust that thing. And if you do, it like it makes you wonder how healthy is this? So yeah. They were putting some weird chemicals in this burger. It's like they always like sell stuff at the lowest amount that they think is gonna sell. I believe, you know, they're like they could make things better, but they want to give you the least amount. Even maybe it doesn't cost more. I think you want to give people less. It's because it's like if you can, if they'll still buy it, you gotta find that balance. There's that thing I've heard about where the, uh, they have the same product, and then they keep the price the same, and then they reduce the volume of the liquid or the amount that's actually inside the um, uh -huh. uh, inside the thing. Yeah. And there's a name for it. I can't remember. It's called like retail shrinkage or something like that. Yeah. Um, but they always do it in a way because volume is really difficult to judge when you're looking at it. Yeah. So yeah. they like change oh. the packaging. Oh, okay. They change the packaging and it's like a little weird. Yeah. And then uh, you're like, I can't tell if it's smaller or not. I don't or, remember. Or they'll like make the box the same size but make the bag on the inside with all the cereal smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you're like paying more secretly but yeah. like more per volume. Without that, realizing it, that like barely matters anyway because I think you're they're already upcharging you so much. Like on popcorn and stuff like that, it's already they're already just like making making it all. You kind of opened my eyes to one of the things we, we had a bag of uh, cotton candy. Oh yeah. Cotton candy bag and on it it said what like 1.6 ounces. Yeah. 
which is a very small amount. Like even sugar-wise, if you just pour that amount of sugar into, and there's nothing but sugar and maybe yeah. some kind of a coloring agent or whatever in cotton candy. So um, it's almost nothing. Yeah. But pretty much when you're buying any kind of food, if you don't buy grocery store food, it's way more expensive. Fries. The cotton candy is crazy, though, because that's literally, they're, they're giving you, like, a spoonful of sugar and charging you $5 for yeah. it. Yeah. It, it's probably, it's, like, similar to popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn is, like, that much popcorn also, and they're charging you, like, $10 for it. Yeah, that's true. And it makes you sick. <laughs> They yeah. both do, to be fair. Yeah. Can't, I, don't, I don't really, was never a big fan of cotton candy, even when I was a little... Uh, what about cotton candy flavored things? Nope. <laughs> cotton candy, you know about this? Yeah, because I got a cotton candy flavored uh, lollipop at the oh, fair, and yeah. you were telling me about how it's not a flavor, that's like calling it like cookie flavored. Yeah, yeah. Or not, maybe not cookie flavored. Well, yeah, but that's... My example is either ice cream or like a lollipop or something. Oh, this is lollipop flavored. Like, yeah, it's oh. like... Lollipops are the flavor. Lollipop is a vehicle for flavor. Oh. Vehicle, right. I forgot that, yeah. Yeah. I'm it's, familiar with the concept. I'm not sure. I haven't, like, been practiced talking about it yet. It's a vehicle for flavor. You can't have it. It's like, what is this? is This is soda flavored. Oh, yeah. It's like, well, soda is a lot of flavors. This is candy. This this is candy flavored. It's like, what, it's not, yeah. what kind of candy? What kind of taffy? It's taffy flavored. Taffy is all the flavors. Cotton candy is, I don't think, I mean, because they have got the different kinds of candy. They got blue, and pink. they got pink. But it's all, I think, cotton <laughs> candy, isn't cotton candy just sugar flavor? It's literally just sugar, yeah. Is, it, is there even like an extra flavor in there? I don't think so, but there's different colors, but I think they're the same. I've never tasted a difference. Maybe the blue is blueberry, or maybe it's all in your head. Could be in your yeah. head. Is there like a floral flavor in there, too? Or? I don't know. I haven't had cotton candy in a long time. Uh, I never, I never really enjoyed it too much. Sticky, very sticky. I was, I was even as a kid. I think I knew about the, the stickiness. You don't want to eat it with your hands. You got to just right, bite it right off the cob. But it gets, uh, then it's in your face and stuff. It's melting. Uh, not great to me. It is pretty interesting. I think it's nice to eat just in like a purely scientific way, where it's like taking that tiny of a thing and then somehow turning it into such a large thing. I don't exactly know how they're doing that. Yeah. If, even if you like take a cotton, actual cotton, squish it down, you know? Yeah. It's like a, yeah, pound of feathers and lead. Oh. You know? Feathers are so light. Cotton candy is so light. They fluff it up. Pound of feathers. Yeah. Does pound, that take a lot of feathers? Pound of feathers is really big. Uh, couldn't couldn't carry it without a bag. <laughs> yeah, like I can't lift this because it's too big it's, to lift. It's, but it's not heavy. It's only one pound. It's too many pieces. It's too crumbly to lift. It's uh, full. It's like a lot of things. Uh, I don't know if there. I don't know what happened. To, I had this like down blanket for a long time, but I think I finally threw it away, or you threw it away. I threw it away when we moved. In my last move, but yeah. that was full of actual feathers. It like, was not. Yeah. It, sometimes down is great, but I sometimes I appreciate the modern things because they're like easily washable. Yeah, down probably gets gross. Yeah. Especially because it's from birds. I don't know what kind of birds it's from. Chickens. Geese. Geese? What I'm do they do? Sure. What do you you eat? The rest of the geese? I guess probably it must be a food animal. I don't, I've been watching this movie. I like watch movies. It's pretty slow now. Like I'll just have a VHS tape and like put it in the TV, and while I'm like in the room, I'll just like hit play. Yeah. And when I leave the room, I hit stop, and I just like so I watch very little bit of it, uh -huh. other things. But it's called The Gates of Heaven. Yeah. And it's a documentary about a uh, basically a pet cemetery like a real pet cemetery somewhere, and it's like very straightforward. Like, uh, it's basically just interviews of people, like kind of straight onto the camera talking about stuff. And there's like the people who started this pet cemetery in this small town, and then there's the person who works at the rendering plant. 
Ooh. In, like nearby. Yeah. And like, you know, he was like, oh, I work for the rendering plant, and people really don't like thinking about rendering. Like he's like, yeah. Basically, you got a dead animal, and what are you gonna do with it? He was, his example was a dead horse. And he's like, your horse dies. And then what do you do? It's like huge. Yeah. And it's going to start getting really stinky really fast. Yeah. And you can't bury it and you can't even hardly move it. So you call the rendering plant and they take it and then they like turn this thing into resources that other people are going to use. Uh-huh. So he was very pro rendering, obviously, but yeah. he was almost like they're kind of doing their parallel interviews together. The pet cemetery? The pet cemetery was not rendering. In fact, they thought the whole idea of the rendering plant was horrible. Yeah, but they wanted to, the rendering guy wanted to render like cats and dogs. And I think they do. And like, but if oh. you think about it, chickens. It's like, where do you like? You have a chicken farm, and you're like selling chickens for meat. Where does the feathers go? Yeah. They gotta go somewhere, I guess. And so they're either going into the garbage, or maybe they're going into like blankets and stuff. Yeah. Or uh, pranks. Pranks. Tar and feathering. Tarring, that, tarring and feathering. Not a good prank. Yeah. It's pretty painful, I've heard, because it's hot tar. Yeah, it's tar. And it's really hard to get off. Could just do glue, cold glue. Chicken man. Yeah. Chicken man costume. Oh, yeah, making costumes out of chicken, or chicken feathers, making actual chicken costumes. Uh, making wigs for bald chickens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know you can't, like, um, Chicken wigs for people. Pluck, uh, pluck a chicken, and then the, is the feather's going to grow back like hair, or is going to be gone? Mm. And you can have a naked chicken. I think they do pluck their each other's feathers out, and they think they do grow back. Mm. And they look like lizards. Yeah. Like weird, spindly, two-legged lizards. Lizards don't walk like that. There's no, like... Raptors. Well, they are raptors, but oh, yeah. most lizards use their, like, wing pieces where the wings go for, like, walking on. Yeah. They're gonna... Yeah, there are not too many flying lizards anymore. I think they're gliding, too. They, like, glide with the... They got, like, uh... They have the gliding lizards? I don't know those are squirrels. Oh, yeah. Gliding squirrels. Squirrels, right. Yeah. Uh, and they, they can render anything. Pretty much. How about people? Ooh, that's... A very sensitive subject, you know. Yeah. Um, we talked to somebody today at the TCTB member picnic about mm, death, death positivity. Death. Yeah. Um, I wonder what they, the death positive people, think about that sort of thing. Death positive. I wanted to ask more about the death positive stuff. I get, was we like, should get Elena on the program and talk about that. Maybe. Yeah. I was pretty sure she was talking about death. De- I was like, it couldn't be death positive. Death. 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 It must be death positive. But then it's like, why are they having a zombie prom party for it? You know, it's not like... Yeah, I thought she was people. just like into that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Just zombie anything. Stuff. I think it's like trying to destigmatize death, whatever yeah, that means. Yeah, but it, I guess if you're... It's funny to be like dark aesthetic and then be like, I like your death. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're like yeah. going to be... Uh, regular, very regular looking. Oh yeah, probably would help. I mean, like I'm death positive. You've yeah. gotta, you gotta start shopping at Costco at that point. Pretty much if you wanna tell anybody anything, go start shopping at Costco and it'd be easier to listen to. <laughs> You'd be neutral. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I went there. I went to Costco today. What did you get? Uh, I got that hard drive. Oh, we're recording onto a new hard drive today. Yeah. Probably got to leave that on the message of the future. I always think about. Did we do a message of the future ye- uh, yesterday or whatever the day before yesterday? Uh, yes, yesterday I was yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I just wasn't there. We for can the whole look. Thing. We I can was. Look. I wasn't there for the whole thing. That's why. Oh yeah, we. Oh, we have uh, a lot of footage from Lake Fair to look at also. Uh, you mean Thurston County Fair? Or Thurston County Fair, yeah. Um, I sometimes think about throwing away my entire wardrobe. And then just buying a new one at Costco for like two hundred dollars, and then I could look like my father. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what day? What day is that change gonna come? Yeah. Look at that! Whoa! The, Whoa! Uh, the, Why is it acting like that? The uh, the 
the glitch channel like makes it crazy. That's pretty weird. Why is it doing that? Whoa. Uh, I guess we'll take a look at that. Whoa. Okay. Look at this. I have been pinched. Oh, you're double pinched. Oh, yeah. We don't need to pinch anymore. I pinched it yesterday. Pre-pinched. Oh, this video has been pre-pinched. Ah, oh, they're eating the cupcakes. I, I seem to remember keeping a lot of the cupcake stuff. Yeah. For a long time. That's probably good. Later on, we were talking to the cupcake people, and they're like, you really were taping us a lot. She's like, what cupcakes was yours? I was like, oh, he's getting the camera out. Yeah, it <laughs> must be his cupcake. And it's like, no, we're just taping everything all the time. So we almost brought the camera to TCTV picnic. If I would have met you here, I would have probably done it. And we're like, why are you doing this? Like, we do this for everything. To memorialize this picnic. Uh, did you already tell them that kind of the whole thing was uh, we were going to, I thought we were going to get cupcakes. Uh, I don't know. Well, we went there and there was all this cupcake judging and I've been to like a cookie contest in the past and in the cookie contest, at the end of the cookie contest, they had the leftover cookies like out there for people to eat and you could actually eat all the cookies. Maybe they were charging. I don't know. I know for the pie contest, you had to pay for pieces of pie. That's the winner right there, the kid. Oh, yeah, the kid wins. But uh, their mom made the, cookie, or the cupcake. Well, yeah, yeah. That seems like cheating. But I guess this other side of this is that you get into the fair for free if you make cupcakes. So mm, yeah, maybe she's like, trying to get them all in the fair. It's like, here, these are the cupcakes you made for the fair, kid. Now I don't have to pay. Well, she was uh, open about it. She wasn't trying to hide things. Yeah. How'd Honest. you make these? My mom made them. <laughs> yeah, we probably good. got that, right? I think so. Yeah. All right. How many cupcakes have you watched them eat so far? Uh, I wasn't counting, I guess. It's funny. Yeah, I was like, when I was taping it, I was like, watching them take a bite and then be like, think, think about their bites like this, like, like. You know, they gotta, can't I like, just like I like eat right. They, like, they get the, first get the cupcake and then they hold it up to their face and they snip it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they gotta, go down to like write something down about the snip. Like, yeah. Oh, snip. It's like before they, whoa, oh, this thing is up and down. Oh, whoa. Yeah. It's Mike, it's real up and down. Um, they, uh, I don't know how it's up and down. They, 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 they're like, before you judge, here's what you do first, like, kind of like wine tasting or something. They gotta like write down. Yeah. Well, wine is like notes of rubber and stuff. There we go. <laughs> I probably shouldn't laugh. That's good. It's very serious. They have to sniff. Do. They have to sniff. I want to get on this panel. Yeah, you gotta get on this panel. Next time. Housewives. Three housewives and me. <laughs> Cupcake panel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to judge like a food thing in this category, or there's also everything is judged. Like. Oh yeah. The uh, what's being judged, like for instance, um, the hobbies and crafts section. Oh yeah, they are uh, they professional judges. I'm for the for the rabbit contest. Well, I think that already happened on tape. They were like, oh, the judge is gone. Hey. Like, kid, come here, you judge. It was like some 13 year old kid. Yeah. And she's like, what? What? I'm judging? Oh, okay. And the kid judged and. She and used, was, used, like, the poop fan to point at. <laughs> yeah, the them. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the rumor. It was good because, like, audience, I think the worst thing you could possibly do is be like, audience popularity vote. Yeah, that was like, not good. Because then you still got to judge that. Yeah. Like, you need a judge of, of audience voting. And I actually think they did that later on the dog contest. <laughs> Didn't and work. I don't think it was accurate. Like, I would say that they, the audience yelled louder for other things. Oh, man. Yeah, I was... I guess I've felt this way before in past things. Oh, I really like this. This is the winning cupcake, not to give it away, but um, look at this detail. Did you get a chance to see oh, this, Oh, it's got a pig. Huh? I, didn't yeah. see, I didn't see the pig. Yeah, the little got pig a, with a butt. Yeah, but oh. Yeah, the mom made that, those pigs. What did she make it out of? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 
Your mom, the mom made like kid, kid, like style thing. Yeah. Uh, what kind of a cupcake would a kid make? I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna enter into the youth competition. Please. Oh, I thought youth meant for the kids. I didn't realize oh. it was for the. Yeah. The, yeah. That's like, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Made out of fondant, though. Fondant. I thought. It, yeah, I was like, it's either marzipan or fondant. Fondant is probably gets a lot of fondant gets thrown away all the time because like. People don't want to eat the fondant. It's yeah, it's made out of sugar though. But it's like not too very tasty, but it's just easy to make and I don't know, people got really into the decorating of things. But you have to be able to eat it even though it's not like nobody does eat it. They might as well put plastic that's like easily removed on it. I would eat the fondant, definitely. You can I mean you can eat it, but it's probably gross. What it's what really I gross. Is this like sugar, chewy sugar? That's fine. Yeah. Is it crunchy or is it Chewy? It's Chewy, like, huh? I don't know, it's malleable, so it's probably not too crunchy, but it's like not intended to be eaten with the cupcake. It's like, yeah. The, in the flavor, when you think about the flavor of the cupcake, you like, if you wanted to put it in there, you maybe put no sugar in the actual cupcake because it's not on the fondant. Oh. Uh, what if you could do like flavored fondant? Seems like you could throw something in there. Yeah, you could, but I think you're. Encouraged to it's like not it's supposed to be taken off, I guess. I think I was going to put something in this competition or I was thinking about trying to make a cupcake and I was like my idea was I was like, I'm gonna make lemon lavender cupcakes. Oh yeah. But then those two flavors like showed up like four times. So it would have just been like another lemon lavender cupcake. And like yeah. trying to think what kind of a cupcake would you make like in this competition to even get noticed? Like in, something in odd. At, at, at the um uh Hawks Prairie Donut Shop. This is called Donut Shop. Yeah, they I saw have, that. They have orange flavored donuts. Huh, orange flavored. Which is just probably, it's hard to tell the difference between orange and lime and lemon when it comes in a flavor. Huh. But I was just like, orange? Wow. Oh, yeah, I you guess know? lemon cupcakes make sense, but somehow orange. Oh, here, little, take a break and look at the hay thing. This is what the kids were doing. That kid Actually, won. I think that's the winner. Yeah, the yeah. winner kid. They're getting change out of the things. I know all the adults, there's like, through all their pocket changes in the hay. <laughs> it's probably a pretty fun game for the kids. They're like yeah. trying to find money in the hay. You can find it. <laughs> oh, back to it. Yeah, yeah. well, don't want to get away from this excitement. Yeah. Lavender, blueberry. Uh, they would not share. No. I kept trying we kept trying to get them to give us You know what I saw though? I saw that those girls who are carrying the things, they got to taste the cupcakes after. They would yeah. Them. Yeah, so not gonna share with us though. I'm gonna bring more if I ever do it to bring share enough for everyone. The yeah. audience. Did you make enough for everyone? I'm like yeah. I'm like slight ooh, the sunset. It's I really that's good. Nice That's good. Sunset. It's getting. Uh, I had a good time now. I'm like. I'm like tempted to uh, take try to take the entire week off for the fair and go every day. Just like do it up and make cupcakes and cookies and get crazy. Yeah, that sounds good. I would do that. Yeah. Just like dedicate. Team. Yeah, we gotta. I would think I would like to make a club in the sense like. Uh, get in the six band. H. And then we gotta like you gotta play like the the music. Yeah. Have like the program even maybe. Oh yeah. Like, just like. Every day at the fair. We gotta like even like start a farm, and raise a cow. Well, oh yeah, there is open class like farm animals. Wait, didn't you say you know a friend who has a chicken? Yeah, my sister has a chicken. Yeah, so we could do the chicken. We could have a chicken. Yeah. Can we just say it's our chicken. Yeah. They're not gonna know. Yeah. She got ducks too. I didn't see any ducks at the fair. Maybe we could win automatically, or maybe they don't. They don't have a duck. Yeah. So. No, the ducks go in with like the geese, and remember there was like. Oh yeah, there was a duck, right? Well, I think so. Oh, there was those little cute ducks. Whoever those were, those like uh, call ducks. Oh, there's something emotional on that card. I remember this. I don't. Did you get? You went around and got another shot of it. Did you yeah, get to yeah. see what it was? Yeah, Let's see. Let's see if we can. Read it. Whatever it was, it really touched that judge. So like, oh, 
I think it's it, positivity cupcakes. Oh. Uh, the talk <laughs> the cupcake says um, my my loved one or animal is dead. <laughs> I made these cupcakes. Please have some, have some sleep for me. <laughs> like, I thought it was me. Like this is my dead grandmother's recipe. Yeah. I loved her very much. Yeah. We can't read it. I could kind of read it on the camera when I filmed it. Positivity cupcakes. Say. Make them when you're blue. Oh yeah. When life gives you lemons. The uh, lemon cupcakes. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of writing. This person is writing a lot. Is this like the writing sympathy contest or the bluebird cupcake contest? Whoa. Ow. Oh. I hit my knee kind of hard. This one is in and out. I don't know why it's slamming it. Ow. It's like breaking. Oh, are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, go to the doctor. Yeah, somebody call me a hospital. <laughs> Hello, hospital. <laughs> Help. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? My knee. Uh, I ouch, hurt my, my knee. knee. Ow. Ow, it hurts. Uh, <laughs> you hear that story what about happened? What have you been doing? I've been hitting it. <laughs> I hit my own knee. knee. Thank you, doctor. Don't do that then. My, my okay. arm hurts when I move it like this. Then don't do it like that. Yeah. Like the, we were talking to Lillian and that clown broke her rib. I don't oh know. my <laughs> god, that's right. Oh. <laughs> I guess our friend Lillian, who is uh, a person of high strangeness, yeah, she uh, she has what did she say? Fragile bone syndrome or something? Oh yeah, some kind of a fragile bone disease. I didn't hear about that part, but and then the clown, uh, Jusby the clown, who apparently used to help her out with her show. He was also the founder of Dance Only Dance. For those of you who don't know, uh, came over and she was like. Wow, Jusby, I haven't seen you in so long. Give me a hug. Or uh, maybe he just went in for a hug. And he gave her a hug and broke two of her ribs. Yeah, jeez. Uh, which sounded pretty bizarre, but I guess she has a fragile bone. Oh, I didn't get the bone part. I thought she, he just like, <laughs> just like squeezed the heck out of her. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did squeeze the heck out of her. Yeah. It's like a very, it's like a pretty like, evil cloud thing to do. Oh, it's the winning. We talked to this woman for uh, too long. As long as she would let us. <laughs> yeah. Or as long as we would let her. Yeah. Emily with salted caramel cupcakes. Woo! Emily here. Third place. I think I kind of blew it out on the tape bounce a little bit of the audio. It's okay, though. That's fine. And then first place goes to Addison with her new salted cupcakes. Wow. The pig cupcakes. It's also the kid who got a bunch of money. She had a bunch of money. Oh, yeah, like a dollar. Oh, yeah? Uh, what, two? I looked in there. It looked like maybe two dollars. It's like I saw a good amount of quarters. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. Wow. I mean, uh, here very well. Uh, Some of the hazelnut, the hazelnut uh, Mocha? toffee. Or what's it? Brittle. Hazelnut brittle, like peanut brittle. Oh, yeah. Not there. She's not here. Where is she? Nowhere to be found. Mm. Looking around. This is Rebecca's red, red, red. There was uh, like place. cupcake supplies inside of there. Oh. We have first place high school students. High school students. We have Jacqueline and hers was the Swiss meringue buttercream with lemon blueberry. Oh. Yeah. She's got like a bunch of coffee stuff, I think. Oh. Starbucks card. <laughs> Are we allowed to ask questions? Only one. You've used up your question. How did you Dad had to help her. Yeah. Not here. No. And anybody else that wants their sheets back, we have them. Otherwise, they go in the garbage. 
position to talk to her for a bit. I was like, I'm going to ask a question. Wait, can I ask questions? Only one question. This is the hot dog. Oh, yeah. Look at this font on the hot dog machine. It's in a good a font. Oh, we never got the font cakes. Oh, we missed it. This is and cows. Even though I was very full, now I, I still want to have forced myself to eat yeah, at that point because now I regret it. I wish so, I would have overeaten. <laughs> I wish I would have been <laughs> very sick. I think That's even if I, did, if I got sick, like, I would have not remembered being sick as much as I remember eating this thing. You're, you're eating for the future, but then it's like, it doesn't matter what it tastes like. You just like want to have to eat it. It's like, well, what do you do anything for? I don't know. When I'm eating, I'm doing it because I'm hungry. Oh, yeah? Not for so that in the future I can sit back and say, I ate that thing. I almost never <laughs> eat because I'm hungry. Really? I guess, I mean, I usually, yeah, I would say most of the time, like, I don't really get hungry that much. I usually eat before I'm oh. hungry. Like, but maybe that's why I'm getting fat. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, I don't ever get the chance to get hungry, so I just want to eat. I want to try to be like, I wish I would have eaten that thing, even though at the time you didn't eat it because you were already uncomfortably full. Like, it's I weird. I would have eaten that thing, not because it tastes good, but for like the sake of eating in general, sort of. Like, I just had the opportunity to eat it at the fair, and I, I feel like I, it's, it, the opportunity has come and gone. Yeah, that's true. That's where my waffle was being made for my chicken and waffles. Oh, yeah, we got chicken and waffles. Oh, there's a funnel cake. Getting. Looks like it needs a little bit of powdered sugar on there. Yeah, sugar in the wall. There we go, sugar that up. This reminds us of my uh, neighbor at the park Yeah, yeah. It was like music. It was a good story. Like, you know, it was like generic music? Yeah. Yeah. My neighbor in my old apartment, in my old residence, listened to top, like, super top 10, like, of the last 20 years of music and the same kind of stuff every single time. Thurston County history. There's a Bigfoot exhibit at the Lacey Museum. Oh, yeah. We're actually going to that tomorrow. You're going to go to the museum tomorrow? Madeline and I are doing that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you have to tell me about it. I'm not going to be at work. Oh, you're at work? But, uh... We just, were you at your grandma's today? I was at my grandma's today. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's right by there. I could have gone, but I forgot about it. You, you think she would like a Bigfoot museum? No. <laughs> uh, oh, I'd love to, yeah. Can I spin it? She'd be like, why are you here? <laughs> what are you doing here? Which way do I spin? Does it matter? Oh, oh, sorry, I to create what's called a Z. Uh, okay. We'll make style. some rope. Yeah, the opposite will create what's called I still have these pieces of rope, but it's not really enough rope to do anything with. Like. But um, not as strong. Which one are you going to do up here? Z or S? No. No. I'm going to try I, the strong I, I, one. Oh, you doing it right so far? It's like a pretty crazy machine, actually. I'm not entirely sure how it could possibly be doing what it's doing. You see what I'm talking about? Like, how is it even working? I don't quite... Oh! It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, your rope actually took out real bad than mine. It's growing. Oh, wow, it's making How it. on earth is it doing that? I don't oh, get it. Whoa. Okay, don't let go. Okay, I got it. Don't let go because I like my fingers. Oh, yeah. Have all five fingers on each hand. Ten fingers total. Nice. Okay, how do we do it? We're going to get this off. I don't know who this some person said I called them. Why did I call them? I was like, it was a message. Okay. They said, Can you play it on the show? I'm playing it right now. Nice. Oh, it's quiet. Yeah, I gotta plug it in. This is a thirst throwback. It's old historical stuff you learn about things like making rope. Hey, there, Kenny. Uh, you just called. With John Webster. Uh, back, please. Thank you. I, I think I did call you back, John. Thank you. Yeah. 
I, th I thought I called you back and then you said like. And he's doing this other way. I don't know. Oh, he's doing the opposite. Same? It's just geared opposite. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Making like ropes. Not the science test, it's like the. Oh man, this lady trapped us. You, talking about. Uh, finding your family. Very excited about that. I don't want to find my family. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't already know them, I don't think they're actually your family. Get to make your family. This is. This is House. This is Madison. Hello, is John Webster available? Yeah, may I ask who's calling? This is. The program, who know me, or TV. Okay, I'll give him the phone. Okay, thank you. Phone's for you. May I ask who's calling? No, you may not. I'm gonna get the options. Hello there. Hey, John, yeah. how are you? Fine. Are you looking Hey, when is the, your, when is the TG TV picnic? Oh no, John, it was just now, you missed it, it was today. Did it today? Why didn't you tell me? I did yesterday. I had no idea. No, you didn't tell me. I'm sorry. I did, I did tell you. I'm sorry, John. I, 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 I made a mistake. I apologize. Uh, Will you forgive me? Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, are you looking at the sun? John, do you, can you see the sunset? Uh, no, but I don't. Watch. Um, it's a program. It's a program called Love Lovers. Love Lovers, huh? Uh huh. What's what is it? It's a program on Channel Seven. Is it a fictional narrative program? Uh. It's kind of hard to explain. Anyway. Okay. What are they doing on the show? Uh, they're, on a, they're on a boat uh -huh. right now. Okay. And then. Oh, uh, they're on a boat. They're fish? going someplace. Fish? Fish? Fishing? Uh, no. <laughs> they're, talk they're talking anyway. Uh, yeah, they're falling in love. Uh, drinking. Uh, I think it's. It's wine or something. Mm, it's some kind of liquid area, wine glass at least. Oh, making flour. We're, we're looking at yeah, that. And then, then kissing. Uh huh. They love, they must love, love. John, did you go to the fair anymore after the pancakes thing? No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. We went, we're looking at the footage from it. Oh, that you should go. I, I, but I, um, I always see pictures of, uh, uh, Josh all the time, uh, uh, and everything when they had the first Kenny uh, commissioners meeting and everything, I was watching. Like, I'll be watching it tomorrow, too, uh -huh. because tomorrow's Tuesday, so everything comes on early. Oh, everybody from TV was at the pancakes thing then, huh? Yeah, Uh-huh. John, uh, you gotta look at the sunset. Go look out the window. It's real nice. Is there a sunset up outside? Yeah. Uh, Madison? It's right now, it's nice. Is there, is there a sunset outside? You don't believe me, John? Oh yeah, little bag. She said, make sure the police know that oh, you can't, not you can't see it from here. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Hey, what is that? Flower. Um, Oh, that is going, got three minutes left. We're looking at the... It's called Love Island, that's what it's oh, called. Oh, Love Island, I'm familiar with that show, John. Oh, you watch Big Brother, John, right? I know you do. Yeah, I, uh, yep, I watch that too. Yeah, Love Island is like a Big Brother spinoff because Big Brother turned into kind of the that, uh, like the show where you keep watching strangers hook up, but... Uh, so it, comes make... on sun, it comes on Sundays. Yeah, Sundays, on... Tuesdays, Thursdays. Yeah, it comes on uh, th Thursdays, and I think it comes on uh, Tuesdays. This must have happened last year, too, John, like right when I started talking to you again, and we were like both watching Big Brother on TV. 
Are you are you who are you happy with the what's happening on Big Brother right now? I heard that it was Jess is the new HOH, right? Uh, there's different people anyway. That they're gonna flip. The house is about there. to flip, right, John? Uh huh. Yeah. You know about that? You know what I'm talking about? Uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the house is gonna flip. Jess is the new HOH. She's gonna turn things around, but the underdogs are gonna take it back over. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here, this is a real message to the viewers. Hey, John, um, what what'd you eat for dinner? Uh, I had some, uh, what, did I, what did I have for dinner? Yeah. What? It, it was pasta. Pasta with spaghetti sauce? And no spaghetti sauce. Just, just straight pasta without any, anything. Uh, ketchup and, and meat. Ketchup. And meat, meat stuff. Me, was it meat? Straight, you know, um, pasta with uh, ketchup and and then and the uh, you know sprinkled cheese. Are you, uh, uh, sprinkled Parmesan? cheese. Are you sure it wasn't tomato sauce, like marinara? No. no. It was ketchup. Is that your is that your own thing? You like that? Oh yeah. Oh, tomorrow, um... Hmm. That's what they uh, do on, um, on that, uh... Tomorrow, tomorrow Chris will be back from uh, her days, her days off. She had, uh, she has two days, she has two days off. And is it your birthday today? Oh, no, Wednesday, right? Yep. What's come over? What's come over? On Wednesday? Yep. Before, t before 10 minutes to 10. No, He's gonna be taking me out at ten minutes to ten. No, 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 yeah, yeah, because tomorrow's Tuesday. Where are they gonna take you to? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know, John. I don't know if I can make it on Wednesday. We'll have to view another day. Uh. <laughs> I'll call you on your birthday, though. Yeah, I'll call you for sure. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe I'll be 75 years old. Yeah, John, you're you're an elder. I respect you. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, um, like, do you have any, what do you think about the youth? Oh, there's kids. Uh, we're looking at a dog dressed up like sushi. What, what are you looking at? Oh, Big Bang. Big Bang is on right now. It's between yeah, Love Big Island. Bang. That, is that show still on, or is it just in syndication now? Yeah. Big Bang is on right now. I think it's in syndication. <laughs> you know, with uh, uh, with his wife and his uh, uh, yeah, Sheldon and what? Uh, Sheldon, Sheldon and the wife, isn't it? Young Sheldon now, or is Big Bang Theory? No, Big. It's Big. It's Big Sheldon. Are they still? Are they still making that show though? Yeah, there's a poodle. It's on Thursdays too. Oh, that's hilarious. That's a good idea. I wonder what the dogs. I guess the dogs don't really think about anything. They're just like, all the time. They're just like, why am I doing this? They like forgot. Like once you train your dog enough, or you have like a show dog, they just like uh -huh. do. They just do it. And then they're like, they're not like, why is this happening to me? Why am I dressed up right now? Yeah. Like. Uh, we see this. This is another one where we're like, we gotta film more, and then we really did. We I think it's good. Oh, this is good. It's going. The cat. Well, we're gonna see like the, the same animals. Oh, and then after Big Bang is over, uh, comes a uh, uh, show like his called Bo Bo. He he's a he's a lot like a lawyer. Bald bull. Bull. Uh, B. B L, I mean B U L L. Bull, bald. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a, um, a lawyer. He has no hair. Yeah, he has hair. Oh. Then why do they call him the bald? Bull? He has, uh, he has two lawyers. Uh huh. And someone uh, gets accused for murdering someone. Yeah. They didn't. Did they do it? 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe that's the whole show. You don't know if they did it or not. You get to find out. Yep. <laughs> All right. So what do you you think they're gonna do it this time, or they usually do it? That zombie kid was funny. That is like, I'm dressed up like a zombie. Cause zombies are just like people. Oh, like yeah. you don't need a costume necessarily uh, unless you're doing the makeup. Maybe he painted his face green. Yeah. Oh, this lady was kind of rude. What? Is that Freddy uh, in the background? Hey, how you doing, John? How you doing, Fred? Oh, really good. I'm here. Uh, you, you said you don't live very far from here, but you're in the right. Oh, that's true. Not too far. Yeah, right next to Word Lake. Yeah. Yeah, you should come. You should come over. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, uh-huh. John, we will come over. Maybe we'll have to make a, uh, put it on the schedule. Maybe next week, maybe in one month, some Monday. Uh, next week, I'm going to go see So Wayne today, Howell. I mean, oh, yeah. this week, like, you can come over tomorrow. We have to work. Yeah, probably in, like. Because Chris will be here to, uh, Chris, Liz will be back tomorrow from our days off. We're going to come over in a couple of Mondays, John, unless you can make it out here. You can get there. And you can come, you can come over the, on my birthday. We're going to come over in like a two or three weeks, John. Right, now you unanimous decision. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, taco one. The judge is the taco. Contest. What is it? What's the category? Judge choice. Oh. Uh, that's like definitely a Halloween costume, though, right? Like the cappuccino part is, yeah, for sure. Is it Tabasco? Oh yeah. It's Tabasco. I was saying there, but maybe it's culturally insensitive that taco. I don't think Tabasco and tacos, you don't get them together. But I think it's like you don't want a vinegar-based sauce, or maybe they're all vinegar-based. Is tapatio vinegar-based? No, I don't know. It doesn't taste like it. That, I got a good girl. I got won, my though. cake at, on the table here, on the table right where I'm sitting. Oh, Coco, Coco, kitty cat. Oh, Coco, the cat. Oh, how's Coco doing, John? What do, what do you guys? Is Coco done anything cute? He's very cute, uh, Coco. Oh. Has he done anything cute in the last couple of days? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What's uh what's Coco's routine? Does he, what is he what's his routine like? <laughs> what's the sport what sport is on uh the pro sports right now, John? Uh Brandon's was not today, but they'll be on tomorrow anyway. It's baseball season right now? They're playing uh, tomorrow they play um San Diego tomorrow. The Padres. Uh huh. And how when uh, how are they doing this year? Um, I don't know for sure. They'll be playing the National League anyway. Oh uh, yeah, you don't know their number. Doesn't most of the time you you know like their win loss numbers or something? Uh, I don't know for sure. I don't know either. <laughs> I wouldn't know because you listen on the radio. The men in black, yeah, they all go back out and then say the exact same thing. Yeah, it's like why is that like part of like the judges like deal? They have to say the exact same thing every time they come back out. Um, I'm Violet and these are my two dogs. Uh huh. Like why do they have to say the same thing every time? These are two D two and Rosie is Chewbacca. R two D two a little bit. I guess the like the dog. The dog dress up is more serious than the, than the chicken and rabbit. Yeah. Thing one and thing two I thought was pretty good as well. I, the I, Wookiee costume is funny because the dog already has hair and they're just putting fake hair on a dog that has hair. Think one and think two are is pretty Halloween costume, I think, too, though. Oh. This one is just... I like this one. I, that dog should have just been like a person instead of a zombie. Like, oh, this, yeah, this Wendy, it should be uh, da- uh, Dan Bennett on your show t- tonight. It should be Dan Bennett on your show instead of, uh, w- instead of Wednesday. At two, uh, oh, on Wednesday. Yeah, oh. Dan Bennett should be on your show tonight. Uh, Wednesday, Dan. Is it on Wednesday? So tonight's Monday. I don't think... Uh, no, he's always on your show on Mondays. 
That was like three years ago, John, or like maybe more. No, but the, but the, the, you don't have one as your show uh, Mondays anymore. Yeah, no, that's been like three or four years, John. I like I like I like him to be on your show Mondays. I would too, I guess. Yeah, we saw him today at the TCTV picnic. Tell him I tell him I miss uh, miss him on your on your show on Mondays. I will. I bet he would actually appreciate that. He, he he does the bingo every year. He's, he's a nice he's a nice guy. Really nice. And he has nice uh, he he has nice uh, <laughs> has a nice uh, I think uh, girlfriend or what, lady oh. friend that uh, that he stays with or yeah. That, I, I he's do, nice too. You know about that stuff? You you talk to him. You must have talked to him after. You know we we picked we picked him up we picked him no. Uh, Carl and I picked him up, and then we came to the studio. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh-huh. That was a long time ago. Yep. Yeah, time goes by, John. How's it like when he's like, because you've been here, like, since I started the show, it's from when you were 65 to 75. It's like a different time in, in life. You know? Uh-huh. Because I met, you came over, you know, you, when you remember when you came to my house in, like, 2011? Yes. Yeah. You drove you drove yourself to my house, you know? Uh-huh. In the coffee news. Do you still talk to the coffee news guy? Yep. How's he doing? I used, I used to deliver. Uh, I used to deliver the coffee news and now and uh, I miss delivering the coffee news, you know, miss having a vehicle. Yeah. Oh, you can have some food. Uh, uh, Coco, huh? Coco, Coco went down to have some food. That, I think that Tabasco person, they played up the loudness. You hear they cover their ears? Yeah. They're yeah. like, they're like, oh, it's too loud for me. Oh, like That's I don't know. Good gimmick. But yeah. It didn't work this time. <laughs> Almost did though. They got called for finalists though. Oh, uh, you can't do that. Oh, the PL Fair opens uh, this this month. Whoa. On the, thir- on the 30th. Oh, yeah, at the very end of the month, huh? Wow. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, for some reason, things are like... Oh, are we going, I'm going to be going to that, too. Oh, what day are you going, John? Okay, so this all depends on you guys. Uh, the first, uh, first day. Oh, wow. Maybe we should go, too. Uh, and, yeah. And then uh, taking, then taking some food for the food bank. For the food, for the food bank. Oh, yeah, did they do that? At the Piaat Fair also, huh? Because they did it. Is that like a fair tradition? For a dollar. You give it you give free when you take some food. What kind of canned food did you bring last time? All right, and our winner is the dollar. He takes some, like, any kind of food. <laughs> for the food bank. Oh. Yeah. Mushrooms? Uh, for the fair. Mixed vegetables? Uh, anything. Black beans? Uh-huh. That sounds good. Um, well, we only we only have a few minutes left, and there's I'm gonna yeah, John, I'm gonna um I'm gonna call some other people. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. Thanks. I'll see you, Freddie. Bye, John. Nice to talk with you. I'll call you again like every day. Okay, bye. I'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight. Yeah, John. You can give me a call in the morning too. Okay. Okay, bye, John. Okay, bye, bye. Oh, John's the best. Yeah, John's the best. Like, so great. Everybody, you can call in. You can be like John. I really appreciate John. Mm-hmm. I'm like, his, <laughs> like, for real. His, uh, like, I feel like the, he, he had his like people over over there, uh, and I was like, John, I'm really glad for you to get back on the show. And I think they were like. Yeah, you're going to get John on this thing, but it's for, it's for real. Was, oh, I thought you were laughing. You were laughing at the TV. I was like, oh, I got I to gotta laugh out of Freddy. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're really making me laugh over here today. Kenny. Wow, that's funny. I think I was laughing at one of the animal costumes. Yeah. I don't know what. Probably the dog did something funny. A lot of times they're trying... They don't know that they're wearing a costume. Sometimes they try to take off the costume. So I guess it's hot. Why? Why are we doing this? 
This must be for our own safety. You must know. You know what's right. The human knows what's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to believe you. <laughs> Third time he said that, or maybe fourth today, who knows? I think it must be some kind of like modern. Oh, this is Hi, oh, Grandma, phone. answer the phone. Leave the name and number and she'll call you back as soon as you can. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello, Grandma, are you asleep? It's Kenny on the phone. Okay, bye. Mark called too. I'm Dr. Batman! <laughs> Oh yeah, we should probably record a message in the future also. Maybe Maybe we can we've had enough of the fair for today. You think so, yeah. Well We made it through most of the cupcake contest and most of the dog contest too, so how much more of the fair could possibly be left? Hello. Hey Mark. Hey guy. How are ya? Oh, pretty good. It's, uh, we're on TV. Yeah. Mark, I found John Webster. Where was he at? At the pancake breakfast. Mm. You know John Webster? Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I'm glad, are you glad he's back? He's gonna be, you're gonna be able to hear him talk and stuff in a few days, a weeks. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. What are you doing? Oh, just sitting around waiting. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the ice to freeze in the freezer so I can have iced coffee. <laughs> How long has it been in there? About a half hour. I got another 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Do you know how long it takes to take the melt or to freeze? 45 minutes to freeze. Mm. Did, you, uh, did you do some trial and error or, or how did you find that out? Oh, I, I, I put ice in there before I know how to taste it. Yeah. Why don't you get a couple more ice make ice, uh, ice things? You could always have ice. What do you say? Maybe get some more uh, ice cube trays. Oh, yeah, I'll probably get a whole bunch of those. Yeah. You can, I heard that if the freezer is more full, it works more efficiently, too. Uh -huh. So you can get all the ice in there, and then it's like the ice is... Keeping oh, itself yeah. cool because it's ice already. When you get that roast beef, I can make roast beef sandwiches. Oh, yeah, like jelly roast beef? Yeah. That's pretty good. What kind of bread you got? Uh, whole wheat. Mmm. You know, if you make whole wheat bread, it's just like the regular flour. And then you keep the, the outside of it. You put it in there, too. Oh. But it's not... Brand. It's not, uh... Real roast beef, you know, like you put roast beef in the oven, is is uh, processed meat. Oh, it's like reconstituted, like uh, Arby's. Oh. Yeah, like Arby's. Yeah. Whoa, it's like bologna beef, huh? But it, it's pretty good though. And probably colored. Uh, we're gonna record a message of the future. Uh. Hey, let's... future. That's the past. Let's stay together and keep uh, keep our rock and roll faith, you know. That's yeah. a Peter Pan and Wendy dogs. We went to the TCTV uh, picnic yeah, member yeah. today. Yeah, picnic obviously. member fair. Talk to John Webster. John Webster's doing pretty good. Coco the cat's eating food. And Mark's on the phone now. Hey, Mark. Hey. Oh, uh, drum roll. Captain Marvel and Goose, that was not Captain Marvel and Goose, it was Nick Ferry. Bye, Future. Everybody who participated in the costume contest to come back in. Waiting for ice to freeze. That's like, is that like watching paint dry almost? Yeah. Yeah. Waiting for ice to freeze. You know what I should have done? I should have put the coffee in the tr ice trays and have uh, iced coffee. Yeah, and then you're not going to dilute it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta try that. Maybe I wonder if ice or if uh, coffee freezes at the same rate as water does. Well, not if it's hot. You could take uh, you could take uh, juice or something and put it in there, and then put uh, uh, saran wrap around it, and then put toothpicks in it and make little lollipops. 
Just make sure you don't accidentally put that in your coffee, otherwise that'll taste bad. Yeah. Yeah, they have like blue. I've seen blueberry coffee. And it's like, oh, it's like, what are you? In? Blueberry coffee? Yeah. That's not like tasting notes. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's tasting notes. Like. Uh, oh yeah, hints of blueberry. You got whatever. blueberry Pepsi. That's reasonable. Yeah. Those are the kinds of things you expect added flavors, but maybe not coffee. It's like you can have like cake, chocolate cake, vanilla cake, but not. I guess it's bitter things. I don't know. It seems like raspberry, eh, raspberry coffee is gross, right? It <clears throat> is, unless you're talking about like tasting notes in the yeah. coffee, which is like something they do at OCR a lot, and they'll be like, it says like, you know, chocolate and like stone fruit. And yeah. Like it doesn't really taste like that. It's just like sort of like that. It's Fancy like wine name. tasting or something. Yeah. yeah. I took coffee and then I turned it off after it, after I made it. Uh huh. And I let it set around for. Maybe half hour till it, till it's not so hot, you know. Put that in the fridge. Put it in the freezer. Yeah. All right. The the show's over, Mark. We made it. Good luck with your iced coffee tonight. I hope you enjoy it. Well, yeah, you guys keep on rocking. So. You too. Thank you. Today I got some coffee on the road. All right. Bye bye now. Bye. I was drinking it on my bike and then I dropped it. Oh. I spilled all over and I went into a local business and I was like, I was drinking this coffee on the road and I dropped it. Can I throw you throw it away in the garbage? And the lady was like, You're dripping on the floor. <laughs> and then she's like, Here, throw throw it in the garbage. She's not happy about it. Oh, I I, I thought you were gonna get free coffee from them. Up, oh, fun singers. That was last year at the fair. Yeah, I'm gonna time for a new tape soon. TCTV, La Bebe, Dirty Fabulous, Graham Graham, South Black, Control Mumster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you, and viewers that you are watching, thank you. Well, Boys Northwest. John Webster, double. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye, viewers. <laughs>